looks like we have still a lot of cleanup to go. And we've had a lot of cleanup lately here, Marissa, that you've already seen across the area. Yeah, Jen, I saw a lot of people out trying, that's the key word, yeah. trying to start <laughs> digging today. Now, some folks even went the extra mile by helping out their neighbors or even a stranger to make sure they weren't buried in all of this snow. To most of us, this looks pretty frightful, but to a guy who lives to help his neighbors. Today is just another day in paradise. It's a perfect day to help a friend. Delivering milk to my friend that I've been working with for a number of years. He's handicapped now, he had a stroke. Rain or shine, he says he checks on him every day. And that includes days like this where he has to stumble through almost a foot of snow. Turns out he's not alone. I'm just helping out, Fred. Clinton Martin spent Sunday morning shoveling his neighbor's sidewalk. This is wet, heavy snow. And it's not stopping. But well, that's part of Iowa, living in Iowa. So that's what we get. We get snow here. And so is this. I was stuck here in the corner parked. Liberta Williams left her car at this intersection as the rain fell Saturday night. But she was not expecting to dig her car out of the snow on Sunday. So me and the house broom, we got the job done. Across town, Chris Morris couldn't yeah, resist nice pulling out his bike and going for a ride. It's just the best way to get out on, get out and do something in this weather. If you don't have a problem with cold, it kind of feels like you're a kid again when you're on one. So whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Another day and we're above dirt. The weather can't stop some folks from doing what they do best. And enjoying it tomorrow morning to shovel. Here are a few tips to prevent any injuries. Now push the snow when you can, but use your legs to lift. If you're using a snow blower, keep arms, hands, and feet away from the auger. And remember to turn it off if you need to clear out the chute. And take your time. Slow and steady always wins the race. It's best to take breaks and stay hydrated. And lastly, if you can, grab a family member or even a friend to help. Marissa Scott, Fox 28 News.